Hello, I am Hannah Hakami, and I am a PhD holder in cell biology. I am not a physician, and I have no degree in gynecology. In this video record, I am talking from my personal experience. As a woman, and as a mother of two beautiful children, I want to tell things that I really felt I needed to know when I was looking for information how to conceive and becoming a mother. And after being a mother of two, I learned so much and there were a lot of things right now I see they are important to know to prepare for conceiving and becoming a mother. In this video, I'm not talking about your partner preparations to help you to get pregnant. I am focusing on you, dear woman, telling you what is needed to know from my point of view about things that I believe they helped me to conceive. Also other things that I learned and I wish I knew before trying to conceive for each one of my children. This topic is very sensitive. I am not claiming any magical preps and spells to help you conceive. I want to talk about things from my own personal experience as a woman scientist. First, I want to tell you I got pregnant with my first child at age 30 years old and get his birth at age 31 years old. So, the message I want to deliver here is there no perfect age or perfect body if you have that image of perfection destroying your dreams to be a mom. There is nothing should hurt you from inside and scare you about your body ability to become a mother. The first thing I would recommend any woman looking for an advice to help her to get pregnant is do not stress yourself. Don't stress yourself for the perfect image for a woman body and age to be able to conceive and just trust at your body. Listen to it and give it the time needed to get pregnant. Now, I would like to go through the list of recommendations I would tell any woman to help her to prepare for pregnancy. Tip 1. Learn your body and help it nicely. Be kind to yourself and to your body. It is essential to check your health condition, including CBC, complete blood count. If you have a health issue, try your best to treat it and monitor it frequently. Tip two, study your menstrual cycle. This is not only to read and know the basics of menstrual cycle. It is important to have the knowledge of your reproductive system, learning the hormones that control your period. It is also about following your own menstrual cycle. Tracking your cycle is very basic. To target the days on every cycle to try to conceive on them. So, to track your cycle, you need to know how many days in each cycle and how many days are your menstrual bleeding. There are so many apps available in the market to help on this. Myself, I have tried a couple of them and the one app I found is very useful and convenient for me as a woman scientist is an app developed by a group of scientific researchers initially from Germany called Clue. Importantly to mention here, it is to be consistent with tracking your cycle. In addition, it is a good idea not to rely only on the apps to calculate your expected fertile window. The fertile window is the number of days that your ovulation are happening on them, and most likely you will get pregnant on these days. So, it is essential to know your fertile window accurately. To do so without any expectations and become certain, I recommend you to follow with your gynecologist, family doctor, or a health practitioner that you are following your health condition with. Also, the use of kits available in the pharmacies to test your ovulation are useful on this. From my point of view, I really recommend you to do this test of ovulation at least for two to three months to know when is the most 
expected fertile window because for me personally when i was only following the app it was giving me a window of four to five days and actually because my cycle was longer than the average my ovulation was later than the window that the app expected when i tested my ovulation kit and after knowing that i got pregnant within three to four months of trying if you have the money go for this ovulation kit test for one to three months to understand better your cycle and fertile window. That will contribute to a better plan for trying to conceive on the optimal days to increase the chance to have a successful conceiving trial in one of your cycles. Tip number three. It is about the intake of folic acid and or prenatal supplements that contain in addition to folic acid other vitamins minerals and supplements that will support your body to conceive also these supplements will help your body to stand for pregnancy and carrying your baby to birth however before taking any supplements please consult your health practitioner tip number four try to live a healthy lifestyle make your living in a healthy way means to keep yourself relaxed and out of stress as much as possible to sleep enough at night avoiding to be fatigued as much as possible to eat healthy food and nourish your body to drink your water to rule out alcohol from your diet to have your bmi body mass index within a healthy range to work out your body and improve your fitness you need to work out safely walking every day 20 to 30 minutes would help your body to have the best shape for carrying a baby here i would like to mention be realistic with working out when you are trying to conceive you don't want to be lazy at the same time you don't want to overwork your body so that you are not giving your body the opportunity to make up and be strong enough to conceive and carry your baby at the beginning in a safe place have your fitness in the best shape possible be realistic and reasonable when you work out while you are trying to conceive tip number five if you couldn't make it this cycle it is okay keep enjoying your life and keep trying to conceive with hope and joy do not give up do not treat your body in a horrific way be kind to yourself again don't give up your body focus on the positive part of every day tip number six be ready financially for pregnancy i cannot tell you how much you need but the amount of money required to prepare yourself for pregnancy depends on your need and on your living style just keep in mind you will need to see a gynecologist or a health practitioner in the field when you get pregnant to follow up with your pregnancy you will need to arrange to give birth then you will need to take care of a baby afterward and during all of that you will need to eat healthy and wear comfortable clothes to me maternity clothes are essential these were my top tips that i would recommend any woman who wants to conceive to prepare herself for pregnancy by practicing them i hope you will have your beautiful baby in your arms sooner than later we came to the end of this video please if you like the contents give the video a thumb up share it with friend and family and please subscribe to my channel that will help me so much thank you for watching and take care